Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus February 11, 2023. Today's transits are strong for gaining a better understanding of your longer-term goals, and any possible fears or insecurities that may be standing in your way from pursuing them. It's also a time to take a more active interest in learning new things and connecting with others. While it may not be the most productive of times, you could benefit from someone's input. Self-expression comes especially easily today, boosting social events or rapport with others. The desire to support or entertain others is at the forefront. A full moon in Leo is one of the most auspicious periods in the year to pursue romance, dating, and true love. This is because this sign naturally rules all of these themes on the zodiac wheel. The mighty lion always leads with the heart and seeks to conquest whatever it is that their hearts desire. You, too, can channel this fabulous and courageous energy to take charge of your personal and romantic life however you choose. This full moon also can help all zodiac signs focus more on their children if they are a parent or pursue pregnancy or adoption if you are so inclined. A spark of inspiration is all it takes. Now is the time to commit to your professional journey by taking a calculated risk to move forward as Venus in Pisces sextals Uranus in Taurus. Uranus is shaking up your professional aspirations and greater professional community, so you may be inspired to do something different to set yourself apart in your industry or field. An unlikely connection or opportunity could also arise, giving you a chance to commit to a more unique path in your professional journey. Move forward with the most authentic professional direction. While anything triggered by a full moon in your income sector two days ago will continue to run its course, the moon's return to your home and family sector today will put it back in harmony with the sun in your financial sector. A friendly aspect over the coming days will fuel your financial confidence, instincts and imagination without taking away from the push that this has given both sides of the financial fence. You can react in various ways to the aspect of the day. Depending on what kind of relationship you are in right now, you may or may not see emotional fireworks. Either way, this energy can be positively harnessed in the physical realm. Get yourself to the gym, if possible, and go for it. There is an exponential effect to this fiery energy and it's best used in the physical realm. Your sex life may see a peak. Continue to drink plenty of water so you don't get hurt. The essence of this day is in harmony with many aspects of your nature. You will discover that your devotion towards hard work pays off. On this type of a day, those in power positions may notice or perhaps reward your dedication and devotion to ensuring that a job is well done. A word of caution though, be careful that you don't overdo it. Be sure to quit when it's quitting time. Before leaving your communication sector today, the moon will move into a friendly aspect to Mercury for the last time before the planet of communication leaves over the weekend. It was over two months ago that Mercury returned for what is normally a two-week visit, with a lot of water having passed under the bridge during that time. This has been a journey towards better understanding what you want from your relationships and what they need from you but with the Moon and Mercury joining forces together to ensure the communication lines are open. The Moon is spending its final hours in your communication sector at a friendly aspect to both Mercury and Pluto, just as they are moving into an alignment in your relationship sector. With Mercury, the planet of communication leaving over the weekend, this is a chance to join forces in order to give the communication lines a boost. Yet a lack of urgency suggests that the communication and relationship gods have already got something up their sleeves that will keep their partnership going. Our eyes in the sky. With the moon entering Libra, it's a time to seek balance and harmony in our relationships and daily interactions. This is an opportunity to find a sense of stability and grounding in a world that can often feel chaotic and uncertain. The Moon in Libra can help us to be more diplomatic, encouraging us to seek common ground and maintain a peaceful atmosphere in our surroundings. However, the Moon is also in a state of combustion, which may bring with it a heightened level of intensity and passion. This can lead to some drama and conflict, 
particularly in situations where emotions run high. But, thanks to the moon's influence, we have the chance to turn these situations around and find a way to restore peace and balance. It's important to remember that this is a time for seeking equilibrium and finding a way to balance our emotions, our relationships, and our daily interactions. By focusing on maintaining a sense of harmony and calm, we can avoid getting caught up in the drama and make the most of this time. So, let's take a deep breath and strive to make the best of this opportunity, finding peace and balance in a world that can often feel chaotic and intense. As the moon enters Libra, we are likely to find ourselves more focused on seeking harmony and balance in our relationships and daily interactions. This is a time for diplomacy, where we strive to find common ground and maintain a peaceful atmosphere in our surroundings. We tend to be more mindful of the beauty and elegance in our lives, taking time to appreciate the finer things that bring us joy and comfort. However, it is important to remember that even in the most harmonious of environments, conflict can still arise. In these situations, it is our responsibility to determine when it is necessary to compromise for the greater good, and when to assert ourselves and fight for what we believe in. Striking a balance between these two extremes can be challenging, but it is essential for maintaining our emotional equilibrium and preserving the peace in our relationships. Therefore, it is important to pay close attention to our instincts and emotions during this time, as they may hold important clues about how to navigate the challenges that arise. By taking a measured and thoughtful approach, we can find a way to maintain balance, even in the midst of conflict. Ultimately, this will allow us to make the most of this time and enjoy the many benefits of the moon in Libra. As the day progresses and the Libra moon aligns with retrograde series, we may find ourselves taking on a nurturing and supportive role in our relationships. This can be a positive influence, as we look to help those close to us navigate their challenges and find a more balanced perspective. Our ability to provide a voice of reason and encourage others to see things from different angles can be incredibly valuable, helping them to move forward and find peace. However, it is important to be mindful of our motivations during this time, as there is a risk of bypassing people's feelings in our efforts to be supportive. Our desire to provide care and comfort may lead us to adopt a more Pollyanna-like approach, where we seek to gloss over the root cause of problems in favor of addressing only their appearance. This can cause us to seem out of touch with reality, leading others to question our sincerity and effectiveness as a supportive figure. To avoid this pitfall, it is essential to examine our motivations and ensure that we are truly acting in the best interest of those we care for. By being mindful of this tendency, we can maintain our focus on providing effective support and helping those close to us find the peace and balance they seek. Through this, we can make the most of this time and enjoy the many benefits of the Libra Moon and Ceres alignment.